associate professor here at Erie Community College, and we're going to give you a short tour of our facilities and what we offer here at Erie Community College. So our, as we are known now as SUNY Erie. We offer a program in baking and pastry, and we offer programs in culinary arts, hotel restaurant management, and a new program in um, brewing science. So as we go into the kitchen, I just want to give you a little outlook in our building here in the Student Center. It's called in our restaurant, the Statler Erie Room Restaurant. Hi right, everybody, Mark Wright again. I just want to, uh, we're, we're going to take a quick tour of our facility, but we're going to start here in the Statler's Erie Room. Uh, this is where our HRM students and our culinary students practice service, uh, management, uh, wine tasting even, beer tasting and things like that. We do all that in here. Uh, so we do uh, table service, we do buffet service, we do sometimes we do a banquet. But right here on the wall is a mural. And this mural is of the 1901 Pan American Exposition that was held right here in Buffalo, New York. And the person that we're, our school is named after, and there's a big hotel downtown, is this gentleman right over here, and that's Ellsworth M. Statler, who formed, uh, who did the food service and the lodging for the, um, the, the exposition. He, since then, after that, opened up many, many, many hotels. In fact, his flagship was downtown Buffalo, the Statler, uh, the Statler Hotel, which is being refurbished now. Uh, become a, a, a grand hotel like it used to be. But Statler uh, formed a foundation uh, and his wife found a, a, a foundation after his death, but we're the benefactors of that foundation, not only for scholarships, but uh, anytime we have we need to, some money to refurbish and stuff, they're always there to help us out. It's a Buffalo based, only the money stays here in Buffalo, New York. So the Statler Foundation, scholarships, uh, grants and, and funds to do uh, many, many different things. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're in our, sec our our large lab. Let's just say we call it the large lab, but this is the Statler portion of the large lab. And what we have here is uh, uh, the Statler dining room kitchen. Uh, we have our hot line behind us, our cold side there, and we have all new state-of-the-art equipment. This this was put together about eight years ago, and at what that time, our hood was over here. We were working backwards, so we straightened it out uh, and now we're working uh, like you would in a normal restaurant kitchen, sauteing, bringing the food, putting it under the pass. We have, uh, in this class, you work in three different classes, American Regional, International, and then within the last class, we do a banquet and buffet. So uh, you get a little piece of everything. You get a little international cooking, you get a little cooking that we do here in North America. Uh, um, so we get a little bit of everything. And the banquets and buffets, we add, we put all this, what we have learned out there and we serve it in a banquet facility. We're a relatively busy uh, restaurant. Uh, our prices are relatively uh, inexpensive, let's just say. Uh, so we do a great amount of business so you get a lot of hands-on work in a restaurant situation. All right, this is part two of our large quantity food lab, our large food lab. This is the Erie, this is the, the cafeteria, excuse me. So the cafeteria, we, we do the food, hot food, for our uh, the college uh, the college uh, students and faculty and staff, we have a, um, uh, two soups every day, a clear and a cream, and we also have uh, a hot entree. We do everything from tacos to chicken cordon bleu to roast turkey dinners to uh, southern fried chicken. We do everything right here. And if you notice, we have uh, a quite a bit of equipment here. We have small steam jacketed kettles. And we also have our large steam jacketed kettles where we can produce up about to uh, eight to 10 gallons of stock uh, weekly. We can make our own stocks. We don't use any uh, convenience items unless it's really necessary, but it's a great thing to learn with using convenience items. See, steam jacketed kettles have been here since I was a student 45, 50 years ago. Uh, still in great shape, still work very well. Uh, we do update them a little bit, but we have a great maintenance crew here at the college that takes good care of everything. So we have uh, our uh, Bain Marie, our steam jacketed kettle, and then our cafeteria hotline. And then we move down here, and we have our deep fryers. We have three deep fryers because we do a lot of deep frying. As you know, as young uh, students like to have the chicken fingers, the french fries, the onion rings. We do all that for them. 
and that's probably one of our largest, biggest sellers. But we also sell a lot of the hot food and a lot of the soups in, in, in inclement weather. So we have a stove and we have a flat top grill. We have a, uh, uh, a char grill and we also have a uh, uh, what we call a tilt skillet where we do a lot of different things. We can make uh, eight to ten corned beef in here at one time. We can do um, spaghetti sauce. Uh, we can do, uh, uh, if we have a large, large group that we have to make chili for or something like that, we can do that. And we do things like that. We make chili uh, for uh, different uh, people on campus that they take, then they feed the, um, you know, people in need and things like that. We do that all along. We have a pot and pan area. and We have a professional, uh, professional pot and pan washer who takes care of that for us. The only thing we do is we're going to work, we'll show you the dish room at the last, um, our last thing in our storage facilities. So right over here is a bake shop that we use, our students use, and uh, they come down and they do some baking down here. We have an instructor back here at all times, <coughs> and we make our own rolls, we make our own pizza doughs, we make cookies for the cafeteria, we also add um, uh, desserts for the Erie Room. Uh, they have three special desserts every week, so we do that. So they work very well with uh, the instructor here, and we mix both classes together. So the cafeteria class is doing the cookies and the pizzas and some of the rolls, while the Erie Room staff is doing the finishing desserts and things like that. And at times, we do have it, um, uh, someone come down from our bake shops to help us in here and do that. Uh, as we move forward, as you can see, we have a lot of different storage items. And this is our big cooler area. And as you notice, we have two walk-in freezers and three walk-in coolers. So there's plenty, of, um, there's plenty of storage here for us. And this back here is the folks that, that work for the college, uh, don't work for the department, but they work for the college. But we work hand in hand with them, uh, helping them make food and things like that. But they supply the food to childcare and some of the other special outlets at the college. And then we move over here. This is our cold area. Um, and we have, uh, you know, sinks for washing lettuces. We have three different areas that we can prep our food. We have a full service salad bar. We have a full service sub line. So we serve a lot of subs, a lot of salads and things like that. So you get it, you're getting a feel for uh, that too, for large quantity cooking, especially uh, in the hot side, it's large quantity cooking. You're making 30, 40 uh, entrees a day. And over here, you're prepping food using uh, uh, slicers uh, in, in all the other equipment that you use for cold food. And we work very close together. Uh, you know, when we're all set up over here, we'll go over there and help them. We cut their vegetables and things like that. Uh, there's two instructors in here plus the bake shop. So you are you're, you always have someone uh, helping you along and uh, teaching and uh, making sure that you, you have a great feel for the business. And there's our dining room area is here. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, it's uh, quite large. And we have, uh, it's qu uh, quite a large area and we do a lot of work out here. But right now it's, uh, you know, distancing, uh, social distancing because of the COVID-19 virus. But uh, at times this whole room is full with students and staff having lunch and things like that. And over here, yeah, I think we have a, a video of this. This is our Statler Suites. And our bake shop, our baking and pastry art students use this facility to sell their wares that they have produced. Uh, usually in the second semester, where they're here for 10 weeks, we serve a breakfast sandwich and all the different things, homemade bagels, homemade English muffins, croissants, you know, donuts, you name it, they, they sell it here. And we also sell whole cakes and uh, <coughs> whole cakes, whole pies, and you know, another thing we do a lot of is we do a lot of um, things for the college community. We have uh, uh, bake, bake sales where we sell cookies uh, for Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day. We do a Christmas cookie sale. And we also do a pumpkin pie, pecan pie, apple pie for Thanksgiving. And uh, along with that, you know, we sell cranberry sauce and gravy and things like that to the college community and people from uh, off, off campus. They come in and they, uh, uh, they know we're doing it and uh, they, they purchase it. They, it's good quality.
Hi, everybody. Mark again. I uh, just wanted to show you a, little, a few more things that Statler has provided us here. At the college, we have our Statler Suites, which was established in 2017. Another one of our um, uh, found, uh, things that we did through uh, the Statler Foundation uh, through a grant. Uh, right now, as you see, uh, we have a, a, one of our students that is uh, selling the, pro, uh, the products that are one of our pastry chefs here, uh, Barb Pratt, has put together, Barb Warnick has put together. And of course, Ellie oversees everything uh, when it comes to front of the house and, and cash sales, so she's over here helping out too. So, thank you everybody for uh, letting us lab. Our baking program spends most of their time here in this lab, but we do have another little section down the hall, which I'll show you later. This lab was uh, built in 2012 with a grant from a Perkins grant and a grant from the Statler Foundation. The Statler Foundation is a great um, uh, asset to the college, uh, and we get uh, plenty of scholarships, and uh, we do get a little extra money to do some uh, great work like this. It's on an island. Uh, we have uh, eight stations, and we can put 16 students in here if necessary but we try to limit it to eight students. Uh, as you notice, every, every station in every um, has a, uh, a rubble crew, a mixer, uh, pots, pans. We have plenty of all the equipment that you might need, freezers, uh, proof boxes, anything else that you would need for a great uh, experience in, in a baking program. We have uh, qualified instructors, that uh, are all certified by ACF, the American Culinary Federation, and we're also an accredited college by the American Culinary Federation. Right, this is our second lab that we're gonna look at today. Some of our baking students use this lab. It's mostly used for culinary and some of our hotel restaurant management classes uh, that we use. Uh, it's uh, another grant from Statler Foundation put it together. When I was a student here, it was all um, stoves that were from like the gas company, home stoves and electric. But now it's all commercial equipment. Every station has a conventional and a convection oven. And as you notice, we still have all the equipment, uh, mixers, pots and pans. Uh, we also have a station with a fryer, grill, um, and everything else. So we have uh, windows that you can look outside. So it's a beautiful day here at SUNY Erie. So this is our culinary lab where our first year culinary and our second year, uh, second semester culinary students hang out and do most of their prep work. And like any other operation, this is the heart of the operation, the dish room. Everybody spends a day in the dish room. So you might be here in the beginning of the semester and you might have to rotate it through it one more time. But we do have a dishwasher. Um, and uh, like I said before, the pots and pans are done there. Uh, we have an array of china, glassware, and things like that that we use. And this is where we store all our, our, uh, our supplies for cleaning and everything else like that. So like I said, we're, um, we're a full service operation. We have everything going on for us. We serve everything, uh, you know, we serve on paper, we serve on, we serve on glassware, we serve on china. Uh, and so we have an abundance of different chinas. So when you come up with a nice dish that you want to prepare and you're looking for a cool plate that you might have saw on, on uh, Chopped or MasterChef or something like that, we, ha we, we, get, we can get it and we, most of the time we do have it. So that's our quick tour of our facility. Uh, we go from the dish room to the pots and pans, to the cold food, to the hot food, to the dining room, and to the small, the two small labs. So we also didn't show you in the two small labs on the other side of the lab, we have a, a, a brewing, equi brewing equipment where we make beer. Our brewing students make beer on Saturday mornings. Also, I didn't mention in the baking and the pastry program, there's two specialty classes. There's, chocolate cla there's a chocolate and confections class where we make bonbons and truffles and chocolate sculptures and things like that. That is a, an addition to what uh, the class. And we also have a cake, uh, a, a cake decorating class where we make cakes and we do all different types of cakes. We use fondants and, and uh, pastelage and all that for the flowers and things like that. Those are two extra classes that you can take and your financial aid will work on that also. So there's a lot going on here at SUNY Erie. Uh, we appreciate you taking time to look at this. We hope you, uh, we uh, can set up a, an appointment with you. Come and visit us, uh, come for lunch, do whatever you want, but uh, we look forward to having you as a student here at SUNY Erie. Thank you so much.